service area and volume, typically you think of as science. What about baking? You bake stuff, you measure things like flour, sugar, water, oil, maybe throw in a couple eggs, spices, different ingredients. Maybe you uh, 3D print your pancakes. Speaking of 3D printers, you can 3D print with plastics and that requires volume. Or maybe you're just wrapping a present and you need to have some paper. Or maybe you're wrapping a whole building as a piece of art. Or maybe you're just wrapping people and you need to know different sizes for people. That's all different surfaces. Or you're making the clothing and you actually do that and you have to know how much cloth you need. Or maybe you're picking how many sheep you need and how much land sheep need or how many land how much land cows need to graze. How much is required? How much sod do you need to plant in your lawn or in a field? How much uh, re water detention do you need to pick? And how, how much rain barrels you might have at the end of your gutters? Or what about a pool? Maybe you want to install a pool. How much volume requires for that? Or maybe just a tub. Tubs require volume. You're going to tile that floor around that tub. That's the surface area. Maybe you're going to air condition your place. The air conditioners depend on size. Or maybe it's a space heater and you're going to just have a fan blowing in your room or painting a wall. These are all things that have to do with surface area and volume, whether carpet or whether we talk about how much gas or fuel you need in a rocket ship, going up into space, how much air you need to breathe inside of a space station, or how about just the atmosphere itself, how much air and nitrogen and oxygen, or maybe how much land there is on top of the moon's surface. Maybe you're just going to make a drink mixing volumes. Volume and surface area are a big deal. 